Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Spent a pretty quiet night here in my little spot by the side of the road. Much quieter than my original spot. I could barely hear the highway. Just about an hour outside of Shibugamu, where I'm gonna swing by a motorcycle shop and hopefully uh, we can affect the repairs. I may get a oil change thrown in. I think I've gone uh, over 7,000 kilometers so far. Might as well get that done. So first thing is to find out about the repairs and then uh, I'll figure out what's on the agenda for today. After the fiasco of the last few days, it'll be nice to get the bike all squared away and have more confidence that I can be off-road and not be completely stuck. All right, let's hit the road. Everything is so damp and gross in the morning. Didn't forget anything. All right. Now, oh. and a crappy GoPro didn't cut it. It is nine degrees and a misty mountain. Kilometer up the road and then uh, on the highway. And let's get to Shabugamu. The amazing thing with Canada, we're so big, there's so much space, and we have so many log and side roads that you can always find a, a spot to pull off and spend the night. I rarely struggle to find a spot. Welcome to Shibugamu, a kilometer from the shop. Three hours later. Okay, three hours and five hundred dollars and two separate fixes later. I think we're good to go. I replaced the tube and tire and everything together and then uh, when I went to leave the back brake wasn't in the slot which is what's happened to me that first time last year when I got the flat with the farmer and so now at least I knew about it I had to spend another half an hour putting that back together so now it's 11 o'clock and I'm starving so I'm gonna go find some food and then I think I'm gonna go for a little hike the route from here is uh, pretty much a straight road down to the St. Lawrence River so I'll eat grab some lunch stuff and then we'll take off on a hike I broke down to McDonald's. First time this trip though, I got some uh, sandwich stuff for later. Don't know if I'll be hungry on the hike. I've got 14k to a hike spot. Spend a few hours tootling around and then we'll uh, get back on the road. Looks like this trail is around seven to eight kilometers round trip. So with any luck, we'll be getting a summit view of something. Got the perfect little cobweb branch stick. I just have to walk with it in front of my face like it's a selfie stick. Not as overgrown as last week's, but still barely followable. At least the rope course signals that I'm on the right track. Ah, welcome to the Emerald Forest. At least if you got stuck sleeping here, you have a nice soft mossy bed to sleep on. It is so muggy. Ah, I've seen a lot of bear poo. As long as Yogi doesn't make an appearance, should be okay. There's supposed to be a view from the top of Mont Portage, but I bushwhacked to get to what the map shows is the peak. And it looks like I'm at the highest point. So enjoy the view. I should have dropped breadcrumbs. Follow the exact same route back. And just like that, I'm back on the trail, non-traily trail. The map said the last place was Mount Portage, but this is actually Mount Portage, just up there. There's a view of the valley, the Smoky Valley. I've done it. I found the summit of Mount Portage. The Smoky Summit. 
I'm on top of the world again. There's even a, a little lake up here. I definitely gonna need to find a lake to jump into at the end of this hike, but not this grubby looking one. All right, let's see if we can actually find a trail down. And we're back. A decent view from the top, but I don't think it was worth all the bushwhacking I had to do. Now I gotta try and find some river or lake to jump in. Well, at least I didn't end up like this guy. Perfect spot. Ah, much warmer than up north. Almost bathtub warm. That was exactly what I needed after the hot muggy hike. And a perfect little spot. If it was later, I would camp here. It's only four o'clock, so Head for a little ride down the road. It would be nice to find a proper camp spot. Okay, just uh, did a little rest stop. I've driven for just over an hour. Got, I think about 70k to a gas station. And it'll be just in time. I'll be down to running on fumes again. All right. Uh, did the fuel stop? We're about 10 15 minutes from a town. It's almost seven. Of course, I passed a million great places to camp, but now I uh, might have to make a spot in a formal campground. It's now uh, a more populous place with lots of farmland. Okay, it was getting really late, 8 o'clock now, and I could not find anywhere. That campground was just a full RV campground. There was some dirt roads going into a farmer's field, so I actually drove across the farmer's field, praying that I didn't hit a swamp, and got behind this uh, set of trees. I'm secluded, it's late, and since I'm up early, I should be fine. Hopefully uh, Farmer Brown isn't up early too, mowing his lawn. Anyways, I'm gonna set up my tent, have some grub, and then just crash. Alright guys! Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe.